What if I told you that attracting money into your life isn't about working harder or taking extreme measures? Instead, it's about unlocking a hidden power within you. A method so precise, it has a 99% success rate, according to the legendary Bob Proctor. Sounds impossible? Stay with me. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly draw wealth, while others struggle no matter how much they try? The difference isn't luck, it's the alignment of their thoughts, emotions and actions. In today's video, you'll learn Bob Proctor's proven steps to manifest money fast. From changing your mindset to using visualization and gratitude, we'll uncover techniques that have transformed countless lives. But there's more. What makes this video different are the lesser known principles that most people overlook, the ones that could make or break your success. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand these techniques, but also know how to apply them starting today. Imagine being able to attract money with ease and consistency. That's what's waiting for you, and I promise, it's simpler than you think. This is your moment to tap into the universal laws that govern abundance and make them work for you. So, grab a notebook and stay till the end. You don't want to miss the one step most people fail to follow, and it's the key to everything. Welcome to Power of Destiny, the channel that opens doors to your limitless potential. If you're ready to transform your life, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Let's dive into the secrets of manifesting money with precision. Before we talk about the techniques to manifest money, it's essential to understand the incredible power of your mind. Bon Proctor often said, the law of attraction responds to your vibration. Change your thoughts, change your life. This isn't just a motivational quote. It's a scientific and spiritual principle. Your mind is the control center of your reality and your beliefs about money dictate the financial results you see in your life. Think about this. Every thought you hold carries energy. When you constantly think about not having enough, that energy aligns with scarcity. You may not realize it, but focusing on lack creates a vibration that attracts more lack. For example, if you frequently worry about bills or say, I can't afford this, you're unintentionally reinforcing the idea of financial struggle in your subconscious mind. Over time, this pattern becomes your reality. On the other hand, shifting to an abundance mindset changes everything. What does that mean? Instead of focusing on what's missing, you start focusing on what's possible. Bob Proctor explained that your subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between reality and imagination. By intentionally thinking abundant thoughts, you reprogram your subconscious to believe in and attract prosperity. It's like tuning into a new radio frequency. You start receiving signals that align with wealth, not scarcity. Let's take an example. Imagine someone who constantly thinks, I'll never be rich. This belief is rooted in fear and doubt. Their actions will unconsciously align with this thought, like avoiding opportunities or dismissing ideas that could lead to financial growth. Now, contrast this with someone who believes, money flows to me effortlessly. This person is more likely to notice opportunities, take bold steps, and attract circumstances that lead to financial gain. One of the most fascinating things about this shift is how quickly it can happen. Neuroscience shows that the brain is neuroplastic. It can rewire itself based on new thoughts and experiences. When you start thinking in terms of abundance, your brain begins to form new neural pathways that support this belief. It's not magic, it's science and intention working together. A practical way to begin is to pay attention to your internal dialogue about money. Catch yourself when you think negatively, 
like, I'll never get out of debt. Replace it with empowering thoughts such as, I am capable of earning and managing wealth. Over time, these affirmations seep into your subconscious, where they begin to shift your vibration. Another key factor Bob Proctor emphasized is emotional alignment. It's not enough to think abundant thoughts. You must feel them. When you think about wealth, do you feel excitement and confidence, or do you feel doubt creeping in? Your emotions amplify your thoughts, creating a stronger vibration. To manifest money, your emotions and thoughts must align with abundance. Here's an exercise you can try. Close your eyes and visualize yourself holding the exact amount of money you desire. Imagine spending it on things that bring you joy. Feel the freedom, security, and excitement that come with financial abundance. This emotional connection strengthens the signal you're sending to the universe, making your desire more magnetic. But let's address a common question. What about external circumstances? Many people feel trapped by their current financial situations, believing they can't break free. Proctor would say that external circumstances are a reflection of internal beliefs. If you change your internal beliefs, the external world will follow. It's like planting a seed in fertile soil. The right mindset nurtures growth, even if the environment initially seems barren. This idea is closely tied to the law of attraction. Proctor explained that the universe operates on frequencies. When you emit a frequency of abundance, the universe responds by bringing experiences, opportunities, and resources that match it. But if your frequency is low, filled with fear or doubt, the universe reflects that back too. Think about how this plays out in everyday life. Have you ever noticed how people who are optimistic and confident often seem to get lucky? That's not luck, it's alignment. Their thoughts and energy attract circumstances that align with their beliefs. You can create the same results by tuning your mind to a frequency of wealth and abundance. The process begins with a decision, a conscious choice to think differently. This doesn't mean ignoring challenges or pretending problems don't exist. It means choosing to see possibilities where others see obstacles. It means believing in your ability to create change, no matter your starting point. Every time you consciously choose abundance over scarcity, you're rewiring your mind. It's a process, but the results are undeniable. With practice, this shift becomes second nature, and you'll start to notice how opportunities seem to flow effortlessly into your life. This is the foundation of manifesting money, recognizing that your thoughts are not just fleeting ideas, but powerful tools that shape your reality. As Bob Proctor often reminded us, you become what you think about most. So what are you thinking about today? Before we talk about the specific actions you can take to manifest money, let's focus on one of the most powerful tools for aligning your mind with abundance. Visualization. This isn't just about imagining random scenarios. It's about creating a vivid emotional experience that convinces your subconscious mind that you already have what you desire. Bob Proctor emphasized the importance of clarity when it comes to visualization. You need to know exactly how much money you want to manifest. Is it $10,000? Is it enough to clear a specific debt or fund a dream project? The clearer the picture, the stronger the signal you send to the universe. Without clarity, your thoughts become scattered and so do the results. Once you've determined the exact amount, close your eyes and picture it vividly. Imagine yourself holding the money, feeling its texture, and seeing the numbers on the bills or in your bank account. Create a mental image so real that it feels like you can reach out and touch it. The secret here is to involve all your senses. Don't just see it. Feel the excitement, hear the sounds of financial freedom, 
and even smell the newness of the cash if that helps make it real for you. But visualization isn't just about seeing, it's about feeling. Proctor explained that emotions are the driving force behind successful manifestation. When you visualize, it's essential to connect deeply with the emotions of already having the money. How does it feel to know your bills are paid, to take that dream vacation, to experience financial freedom? The joy, gratitude and excitement you feel while visualizing amplify your energy and send a powerful message to the universe. Think of it like tuning into a radio station. When your thoughts and emotions align with abundance, you're on the right frequency to receive it. But if your visualization feels flat or forced, you're not sending a clear signal. This is why emotional intensity is so critical. It creates a magnetic pull between you and your desire. Bob Proctor recommended focusing intensely on your desired outcome every single day. This isn't a one-time practice, but a consistent commitment to reinforcing the belief that your desire is already yours. Set aside a few minutes each morning and evening to visualize. During this time, block out distractions and immerse yourself fully in the experience. Proctor often spoke about the theater of the mind, where you become the writer, director and actor in the story of your financial success. Here's a powerful technique you can try. Create a mental scene where you're celebrating your financial achievement. Maybe you're holding a check with your desired amount or looking at your bank account filled with money. Add as many details as possible. Are you smiling? Is there music in the background? Who's celebrating with you? The more vivid and emotionally charged this scene, the more your subconscious mind accepts it as reality. But there's another layer to visualization that many people overlook, repetition. Your subconscious doesn't shift overnight. It requires consistent exposure to the same images and emotions to reprogram itself. This is why Proctor insisted on daily practice. The more you visualize, the stronger the neural pathways in your brain become, reinforcing the belief that your desire is already fulfilled. Some people worry about how their desire will manifest. Proctor's advice? Don't get stuck in the how. Your job is to focus on the end result, not the details of how it will come to you. The universe has infinite ways to deliver what you desire, often in ways you can't predict. Trust the process and let go of the need to control every step. Another tip Proctor shared is to pair visualization with action. Visualization creates the mental blueprint, but action brings it to life. After you visualize, pay attention to the ideas, opportunities, and inspiration that come to you. These are the universe's way of guiding you toward your goal. Trust your intuition and take steps, no matter how small, in the direction of your desire. Before we move on, it's important to note that visualization isn't just about financial gain. The same principles apply to any area of life, health, relationships, or personal growth. But when it comes to manifesting money, the key is to stay consistent, emotionally engaged, and open to receiving. By practicing daily visualization with clarity and emotion, you align your mind, body, and energy with abundance. This alignment creates a powerful force that draws your desire into reality, often faster than you'd expect. Now, let's explore how other practices like gratitude and affirmations can amplify these results. Before we talk about the practical actions that help you manifest money, it's crucial to understand the profound impact of gratitude and affirmations. These aren't just feel-good practices, they're powerful tools for rewiring your subconscious mind and amplifying your manifestations. Gratitude is often called the secret ingredient to manifestation. And for good reason, when you focus on what you're grateful for, you shift your energy to a state of abundance. This is important 
because the law of attraction responds to your vibration. If you're constantly focused on what you lack, you emit a vibration of scarcity, which attracts more of the same. But when you feel gratitude, you align with the frequency of abundance, creating a magnetic pull for more blessings in your life. Let's consider an example. Imagine you're stressed about money. Instead of fixating on the stress, take a moment to think about the things you already have. Food on your table, a roof over your head, or even the smallest conveniences like clean water or internet access. By appreciating these things, you tell the universe, I am already abundant, which invites more abundance into your life. This is where affirmations come in. Affirmations are positive, present tense statements that help reprogram your subconscious mind. They act as reminders of your potential and reinforce the belief that you can achieve your desires. Bob Proctor often emphasized the power of affirmations, explaining that they reshape the way you see yourself and your relationship with money. Here are a few powerful affirmations to get started. I am a magnet for wealth and abundance. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. I am worthy of financial success. Every day I attract more opportunities to grow my wealth. The key to effective affirmations is repetition. When you repeat these statements daily, you embed them into your subconscious mind. At first, you might feel resistance or doubt, especially if your current reality doesn't match these words. But with consistent practice, your mind starts to accept these affirmations as truth. This shift in belief is what changes your vibration and aligns you with your desires. To amplify the power of affirmations, combine them with visualization. For example, while saying, I am a magnet for wealth, imagine yourself receiving a large sum of money or achieving a financial milestone. The combination of words and mental images strengthens the impact, making your desire more tangible. Gratitude and affirmations also help overcome one of the biggest obstacles to manifestation, negative thinking. When you feel stuck in a cycle of doubt or fear, gratitude acts as a reset button. It shifts your focus from what's wrong to what's right. Instantly redirect your thoughts from limiting beliefs to empowering ones. Another way to incorporate gratitude is by keeping a gratitude journal. Every day, write down at least three things you're grateful for, no matter how small. This simple practice trains your mind to look for the positive, which naturally elevates your energy. Over time, you'll notice that you start to see opportunities and solutions instead of problems. For affirmations, try recording them in your voice and listening to them throughout the day. Hearing your own voice affirm your worth and potential creates a deeper connection to the statements. shaping not only your mindset, but also your external reality. By cultivating gratitude and affirming your worth daily, you create a foundation for abundance. 
this practice doesn't just help you manifest money, it transforms your entire perspective, making you more open to receiving all forms of wealth and prosperity. As Bob Proctor said, what you think about, you bring about. So what are you focusing on today? Before we talk about transforming your financial reality, let's dive into specific tools and practices that make manifestation a tangible process. These steps are designed to align your mindset and actions with your financial goals. Each of these practices can help you stay focused, energized, and on track. Step 1. Write down your financial goals. The act of writing your goals clarifies your desires and sends a clear signal to your subconscious. Bob Proctor emphasized the importance of setting C plus goals, which are ambitious and seem impossible at first glance. These goals push you to grow into the person capable of achieving them. For example, if your goal is to earn a specific amount, write it as if it's already achieved. I am so grateful now that I earn $500,000 annually. This phrasing sets a positive tone and fosters belief in your potential. The written goal should be reviewed and internalized daily, keeping it at the forefront of your thoughts. Step 2. Visualize for 5 minutes daily. Visualization is a cornerstone of manifestation. Each day, take five minutes to vividly imagine your financial goal as already achieved. Picture yourself living in abundance, perhaps signing lucrative deals, enjoying financial freedom, or even sharing your wealth with others. Proctor often highlighted the need to feel the emotions tied to this vision. As you visualize, experience the joy, pride, and satisfaction of your success. These feelings reinforce the belief that your goals are not only possible, but inevitable. Step 3. Practice affirmations, morning and evening. Affirmations are powerful statements that help reprogram your subconscious mind. Begin and end each day by repeating affirmations like, I am a magnet for wealth. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. I am grateful for the abundance in my life. Consistency is key. These affirmations, when repeated with conviction, gradually replace limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Proctor encouraged integrating these statements into your daily routine, ensuring they become part of your thought patterns. Step 4. Act as if the wealth has already arrived. This principle is about aligning your behavior with your desired outcome. Imagine how you would think, feel, and act if you were already financially successful. For example, walk with confidence knowing your goals are already achieved. Make decisions from a place of abundance rather than fear or scarcity. Engage in activities that reflect your success, even on a small scale, like networking with successful individuals or visiting places that inspire prosperity. Proctor referred to this as living in the vibration of your goal. By embodying the habits and attitudes of a wealthy person, you signal to the universe and your mind that this is your reality. Step 5. Commit to daily action. Manifestation is not just about thinking and feeling, it also requires action. Every day, identify steps you can take toward your financial goals. This might include learning new skills, exploring investment opportunities, or reaching out to potential clients. Proctor advised focusing on what you can do rather than worrying about what you lack. This mindset keeps you proactive and aligned with opportunities. Final thoughts on application. Integrating these practices creates a framework for consistent progress. By writing goals, visualizing, affirming, acting as if, and taking action daily, you align your internal beliefs with external outcomes. This alignment is what brings your desires into reality. 
Keep practicing these steps with commitment and trust in the process. Your efforts will lead to the financial success you seek. Before we talk about the steps to let go and trust, it's essential to understand why this is a cornerstone of manifestation. When you hold on to doubts or constantly question the how, you unintentionally block the energy needed to attract what you desire. This resistance is often born from fear or the need for control, both of which keep you stuck in a lower vibrational state. Bob Proctor emphasizes, don't get caught in the how. Focus on what you want and let the universe handle the details. This means trusting that once you've set a clear intention, the mechanisms to fulfill it will naturally align. You don't need to figure out every step. Instead, focus on maintaining a high-frequency vibration aligned with your goals. Releasing control doesn't mean being passive. It's about detaching from the outcome while staying emotionally connected to your vision. For example, if you're manifesting financial abundance, act and feel as if that abundance is already yours. Celebrate it internally and carry that energy throughout your day. The key is to believe so deeply in your vision that the absence of immediate evidence doesn't shake your confidence. A powerful practice to help you let go is to combine visualization with gratitude. Start by vividly imagining your goal already achieved. Feel the excitement, relief, and joy of having it now. Then, shift to gratitude. Say to yourself, thank you universe for bringing this into my life. Gratitude reinforces your faith and removes lingering doubts. Another crucial step is to replace worry with trust. Proctor often discusses how worry lowers your vibration and acts as a repellent to your desires. If you notice worry creeping in, consciously redirect your thoughts to what excites you about your goal. Remind yourself that, as Proctor says, everything you want is already yours. It's simply a matter of becoming more aware of what you already possess. Daily affirmations can also strengthen your trust in the process. Affirmations like, I trust the universe is working in my favor, or everything I desire is on its way to me now. Reprogram your subconscious mind for confidence and faith. Repeat them with conviction in the morning or whenever you feel doubt arising. Lastly, let go of the timeline. This is one of the hardest yet most transformative aspects of trusting. While it's natural to want results quickly, fixation on timing creates resistance. Remember that the universe operates on divine timing, ensuring that what you receive arrives at the perfect moment. Trust that the process is always unfolding in your best interest, even if it's not immediately visible. In Proctor's teachings, Letting go and trusting are about surrendering the need for control while taking inspired action. Keep your thoughts aligned with abundance, replace doubt with faith, and hold on to the certainty that your desires are already making their way to you. Trust the process. It's working, even when you can't yet see it. Start today. Take these techniques, visualization, affirmations, gratitude and trust, and apply them for just a week. You'll start noticing shifts in your financial reality, your mindset will change, opportunities will appear, and your confidence in manifesting money will grow. Remember, abundance is your birthright. Claim it now by taking consistent, inspired action toward your goals. Trust the process and know that everything you desire is already on its way. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up to let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to Power of Destiny for more transformative content to help you unlock your full potential. Your journey to abundance begins here.